Ethan Page weighs his options as free agency is right around the corner. Now that Ken Shamrock and Sammy Callahan are the ones revealed to have attacked Eddie Edwards, I have a theory in mind of what might happen next. I give my victory road predictions and a few dumb comments. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. I am home today. I am waiting, unfortunately, for a COVID-19 test result. I wasn't feeling well the other day and thought uh, it might be in my best interests to go get tested for COVID-19. I had a few symptoms, so that's what I did, and I'm just waiting for that result. Hopefully, it will be negative. My fingers are crossed, and I do ask for you to cross your fingers uh, for me as well, so I'm hoping for that negative test result to come back. I mean, I don't feel seriously sick. I just got some mild symptoms, uh, but um, you know, better be safe than sorry, so I figured I'd go out and get that uh, test done, which was really weird, by the way. I don't know if anybody had if anybody's had a test done, the COVID nineteen test done, uh, but the cotton swab up the nose, really, really weird, really weird. But uh, again, hoping for that negative result to come back. Uh, but right now, let's talk about some Impact Wrestling. Ethan Page, who's had a huge twenty twenty, um, free agency right around the corner. Free agency is right around the corner for Ethan Page, and there's gonna be interest. From the WWE, there's going to be interest from AEW, but uh, as it stands right now, Ethan Page prefers to stay with Impact Wrestling. And I'll read, uh, it was a Sports Illustrated article, i read a paragraph, it says, Page's current deal expires at the end of this year if he reaches free agency, which personally I don't think he will, I think he'll sign a new contract before he hits free agency, but if he reaches free agency, he will draw interest from WWE and AEW, but... Ethan's preference is to extend his run with Impact Wrestling and continue rebuilding the company into a major player. That's the stuff I like to read. I like to see that stuff. Ethan Page not wanting to go to AEW, not not wanting to go to WWE, wanting to stay with Impact Wrestling. Yeah, Impact Wrestling is becoming a cool place to go for professional wrestlers, cool place to work for professional wrestlers. Uh, they're really doing a great job rebuilding, as we all know, as everybody here at the Impact Lounge knows. People want to be there. Wrestlers want to be there. Talent wants to go there. The Good Brothers showing up was, was huge. was huge. Signing the Good Brothers was absolutely huge. And I really believe that the Impact Wrestling is going to lock Ethan Page up. He's not going to make the free agency. That, that, that's my opinion. And I don't want him to leave. I don't want Ethan Page to leave. I, I like Ethan Page in, in Impact Wrestling. I love Ethan Page in Impact Wrestling. Uh, him and Josh Alexander are probably one of the best tag teams in the world right now. And even Josh Alexander said, uh, say Ethan Page does leave. You know, Josh Alexander said he couldn't tag team with anybody else. Uh, it wouldn't just it wouldn't feel right unless it's Ethan Page. And I, I think Ethan Page feels the same way uh, about Josh Alexander. So I think they're sticking together. Uh, like I said, I, uh, I think they're going to lock him up before they hit free agency. And the North are going to continue to be one of the best tag teams in the world. And I, seeing them in the ring face-to-face with, with the Good Brothers on the last episode of Impact was just fantastic. And I'm looking forward to uh, that feud, which is you know coming down the road, uh, guaranteed. Uh, definitely going to see a match between those two, those two teams. Hopefully sooner than more. Hopefully sooner than later. Uh, but uh, Ethan Page, um, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. He's staying. He's staying with Impact Wrestling. I mean, think of it this way: Alpha One. Alpha One shows are on Impact Plus. So if, if if Ethan Page leaves, does that mean Alpha One is going to be taken off Impact Plus? Um, see, just there's, there's too much there. There's too much there. Again, Ethan Page will not make it to free agency. He will sign a long-term great deal with Impact Wrestling to stay. And him and Josh Alexanders will continue to reign supreme as the best tag team in Impact Wrestling. And one of the best tag teams in the world. Okay, so let's uh, move on. 
the Eddie Edwards thing. The Eddie Edwards, uh, who attacked Eddie Edwards uh, storyline lasted one week. I'm glad they didn't drag it out because, like I said last week, we just had a, a Trey Miguel, a who attacked Trey Miguel storyline. So I'm glad they they didn't, um, you know, stretch it out for a couple of weeks. Personally, I don't think they need to do that at all. Uh, it was a one-week storyline on who attacked Eddie Edwards, but we all found out that it was Ken Shamrock um, aligning with Sammy Callahan. Uh, Ken Shamrock um, took out Eddie Edwards, and uh, Shamrock and Callahan are a team, and they they want to take down Eddie Edwards. So here's my theory on this. Here's my theory on this. Wouldn't it be absolutely fantastic? Wouldn't it be absolutely wonderful? If this was the way to bring back Davy Richards and the the American Wolves reunite, you know Ken Shamrock, Sammy Callahan is a little too much for Eddie Edwards. He needs help, so he calls his buddy, his old friend Davy Richards. Yes, they they feuded uh, before um, Davy Richards uh, retired, uh, quote unquote retired from professional wrestling. But I believe he's back. I believe he was he was he had wrestled uh, in a number of matches in 2019. Uh, but it wouldn't be great if he called his uh, his old buddy Davy Richards, and Davy Richards came back, and they both feuded with Shamrock and and Callahan, and then they became a team, and then we saw the North against the Wolves, uh, the Good Brothers against the Wolves, the Motor City Machine Guns against the Wolves, Ace Austin and Madman Fulton against the Wolves, the Rascals against the Wolves, just the 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 possibilities are endless there for just phenomenal matches. Just phenomenal match. It's I'm I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping. I'm holding out hope that this is gonna happen. I I really would love to see because I'm not sure what David Richards is doing right now. Um But uh I, I'd love to see him back in Impact Wrestling and reunite with Eddie Edwards. I think that would be see that would be absolutely tremendous. Absolutely tremendous if, if that could happen. And um I'm holding out hope, as I said. I'm holding out hope that that uh, we will see a Wolves reunion in Impact Wrestling. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for it. All right, Victory Road. Let's talk about Victory Road. Uh, Victory Road, huge card coming up on Impact Plus in uh, on October 3rd in um, in two days. It's two days. It's October 1st when I'm recording this, so in two days. So let's run down the matches, and I will give you my predictions. Uh, so the entire card will be uh, the main event is for the Impact World Championship it's going to be Eric Young defending his title against Eddie Edwards. There's no way in hell that Eddie Edwards is taking the title off Eric Young, uh, especially with the huge Bound for Glory match coming. So Ken Shamrock, Sammy Callahan, obviously are going to interfere in this match. And, you know, all signs points to uh, Eddie Edwards getting on that phone and calling Davey Richards to, to get that Wolves reunion going in Impact Wrestling. Uh, but... Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. Sammy Callahan and and Eddie and uh, I'm sorry and Ken Shamrock will uh, interfere in this match, causing Eddie Edwards the match. Eric Young will retain. Then we have uh, Diana Perazzo uh, taking on uh, Susie uh, for the Impact Knockouts Championship match. And I just want to point something out for I I've been pronouncing her name incorrectly. I've been calling her Diona Perazzo. And uh, actually I got an email from uh, the head of media relations of Impact Wrestling, Ross Foreman. He sent me an email last week to remind, to, not to remind me, but to tell me that I've been pronouncing her name wrong. That it's not Diona Perrazzo, it's Diana Perrazzo. Uh, so I've been pronouncing her name wrong and I apologize on that. So it's Diana Perrazzo defending the Impact Knockouts Championship against uh, Susie. There's no way Perrazzo is going to lose. No way Perazzo's going to lose. Uh, she's going to retain. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see... Could we see Sue Young return? No, not yet. I think I think Sue Young is going to return at Bound for Glory. I think they'll hold it for... I think Impact Wrestling will hold it for Bound for Glory. And we'll see uh, Sue Young make her return uh, during that pay-per-view. And we have an Impact in X-Division Championship match. Rohit Raju has made an open challenge. Uh, Trey Miguel, um, Chris Bay, and uh, TJP are not allowed to answer that challenge. So it's an opponent uh, to be announced. This would be a great time to bring in Jackson Stone. 
Jackson Stone under contract with Impact Wrestling. Uh, when I spoke with him, he said he has a three-year deal. So this would be a great time to bring in Jackson Stone. Although you would think if they do bring him in, it's going to be in a, a losing cause. And I don't know, that, that might hurt Jackson Stone. I'm not sure what the plans are for Jackson Stone. But um, uh, this, uh, I, I can't think, unless it's Jay Chris that they bring back. Um could be Jay Christ. I, I hope it's not suicide. <laughs> I, I hope it's not suicide or Johnny Swinger. Um, I'm sorry, but I, I hope it's uh, neither of those two. Uh, but I, I I would be happy to see Jackson Stone. I would be happy to see Jay Christ. And hey, if they brought Aiden Prince down from Canada, I'd, I'd be happy to see Aiden Prince as well. But whoever it is, uh, Rohit Raju is going to uh, retain uh, retain the uh, the X Division Championship. I, I hope it's not suicide. Like I said, suicide and and suicide defeats Rohit Raju for the title, and then suicide takes his mask off, and it's it's TJP, or it's uh, or it's uh, Chris Bay, or it's Trey Miguel under the mask. I I hope they don't do that, because that would be corny. That would be dumb. I now I have a feeling that they might do something like that, but uh, I I'm I'm saying Rohit Raju is gonna walk out with the X Division uh, X Division title. We have an unsanctioned tag team match: Reno Scum um, against uh, Heath and Rhino. Uh, Heath for Impact. Uh, hopefully they'll the storyline with uh, with that with him will end soon, and they'll quote unquote sign him to Impact. Uh, but Heath and Rhino uh, should win this match. Uh, Tennille Dashwood against Jordan Grace. Uh, should be another uh, good match between the two. I'm going to go with Neil Dashwood. Uh, Brian Myers taking on Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer better not win this match. Uh, I'm going to go with Brian Myers. And then we have the Fatal 4-Way, which I'm very excited about. Uh, Ace Austin versus Carl Anderson versus Alex Shelley versus Josh Alexander. This match could probably is going to steal the show. This will probably be the best match on the on the card. Uh, but I'm going with uh, my man, my guy, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, uh, to win that match. So I'm looking forward to Victory Road, uh, Impact Plus, this Saturday. Uh, can't wait. It's going to be a great, great show. I believe it starts at 8 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but uh, just uh, double-check uh, Impact Plus uh, to make sure um, to check the start time. Uh, but this is going to be a great, great show. It's going to be a great prelude to, uh, to Battle for Glory. And I'm really, really looking forward to uh, to this show. All right, so uh, the Diana Perrazzo, the Diana Perrazzo watch still continues. She still has not signed with Impact Wrestling, and I think I'm going to do this um, uh, on every podcast until she does sign. Um, please, we, we she's got to sign. <laughs> she's got to sign. I I got a little concerned. Uh, maybe it's just a. Uh, Maybe just uh, me just uh, thinking about it too hard, but um, I think Doc, Dr. Britt Baker is back in AEW, and uh, Deanna Perrazzo sent out a tweet saying, welcome back. Uh, so, yes, uh, AEW wrestler, and she's saying welcome back to AEW. Um, I, I just, I, right now, I, I just, I... I just want Perazzo to sign a contract with Empire Wrestling. If she's happy that someone's back in the AEW, that's great, but I want her... Signature on the on on the dotted line of the Impact Wrestling contract, um, more than anything, more than anything. So as she's given praise for an AEW wrestler, I'm thinking, oh my God, did AEW contact her? Is she under negotiations now with AEW? Uh, so that that's what's got me <laughs> a little worried. I just I haven't wanted Impact Wrestling to sign somebody as badly as I want them to sign Perazzo. As badly as I want them to sign Perazzo. Just please get her name on the dotted line. Oh, please, just let's get it done. It's like every day I'm checking Impact Wrestling News to see if, if she signed. It's been a few weeks now since they've offered the contract and she hasn't signed yet. So come on, please. I, I want to see the official announcement from Impact Wrestling. I want to see that Impact Wrestling graphic with... On Twitter, on on Facebook, on Instagram, this is, that states that she's signed with Impact Wrestling. Come on, let's get it done. Scott Demore, Don Callis, let's get it done. Let's get Perazzo under contract. All right, let's move on to a couple of dumb comments. Let's move on to a couple of dumb comments. So we have this one guy on Facebook. His name is Richie, and here's his comment. He goes, "There was um." I, I just 
I copied the comment. I'm not sure uh, what post was from, but his comment is it was a, it was a post about uh, about moose, and um, I'm not sure which one it was, but his comment was, "But moose is only there for a paycheck. You would want someone who has carried the company and remained loyal. Look no further than Eddie Ed, Eddie Edwards or maybe Sally Cal, Sammy Callahan. Those two have been there for a while and have stayed loyal." That's all great. That's great. But there's one problem with that with that uh, dumb quote, with that dumb comment. And the problem is, Moose has been there a lot longer than Sammy Callahan. So you want to talk about someone who's been there for a while and remained loyal, and, and you mention Sammy Callahan, when Moose has been there a lot longer, you know, that just doesn't make sense. I mean, Moose, Moose, Moose is, is as loyal as you can be. Moose is with Impact Wrestling for, for a number of years now. And he's their top star right now. He's never held the Impact Wrestling World Championship, yet he is their top star. Uh, if 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 not the, he's one of the top stars right now. No, in my opinion, right now Moose is the top star in Impact Wrestling, and he and he's been that way for for some time. And to say that you know he's just there for a paycheck, and that he's not loyal, and he hasn't been there long enough, and then you yeah you, yeah. You, you, Compare it to a Sammy Callahan stay. I mean, come on, that's just dumb. You need to do a little research before you make a dumb comment like that, you know. And you say Moose is just there for a paycheck. I, I I disagree. I disagree. He's not just there for a paycheck. He's there because he loves Impact Wrestling. Uh, he loves being. He loves professional wrestling. He loves Impact Wrestling. He loves being there. So uh, it's it's more than just collecting a paycheck. Uh, I'm not sure where you get your your. Uh, your um your facts from, uh, but uh, maybe again you should uh, hit Google and do a little research before you you make a uh, a dumb comment like that. All right, let's let's there's another dumb comment. Um, oh yeah, this is actually funny. Somebody some somebody wrote you know, and I'm not, I don't mean to make fun, but uh, if you're an Impact Wrestling fan, at least come on, let's let's get the names right. Somebody wanted to know who would win a match between between Moose. And E six three, and you know, and I'm sorry, but but the six is uh, nowhere near the C on the keyboard, so I'm not sure what they're what they're talking about. And you know, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm gonna leave that one. Alone. I don't want to sound like I'm making fun of someone, but somebody actually called E C three E six three, and I thought that was that was quite humorous. Uh, so, um, but I'll leave that one alone. Um, I'll 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 give that guy the benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. On, on his mistake there, uh, despite the fact that uh, the C is nowhere near the six on the keyboard, and there was one more. Oh yeah, so uh, Impact Wrestling. Um, they're talking about uh, uh, upcoming show, and so and they put up a clip, and somebody responds. Somebody named Eric responds. C doing. I, I s responds. So still doing the no fan thing. I see. Seems appropriate as most people forget that this company exists <laughs> okay I, I i i spoke about this last week uh, there was a similar comment so to this guy eric who says that that most people forget that this company even exists let's go over some statistics here uh as i did last week but i'm going to go over them again so to eric uh youtube subscribers for impact wrestling 3.8 million Facebook followers for Impact Wrestling, 1.6 million. Instagram followers for Impact Wrestling, 620,000. Twitter followers for Impact Wrestling, 561,000. And Impact is seen globally in over 120 countries. So Eric, Eric, many, many, many people all over the world know that Impact Wrestling exists. So... You can take your dumb comments, and you know what you can do with it, Eric. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me listening to me today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Keep your fingers crossed for that negative COVID-19 report that I'm anxiously awaiting for. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.